computers. Catfish will complete the slow speed pass by selecting maximum afterburner and pitching the aircraft up through the vertical as he finishes the, with a maneuver known as the one half Cuban eight. You'll see him as he begins to slow down. This is called the high alpha pass or high angle of attack. What that means is that the nose is going to be pulled up about 30 degrees above the horizon. And that's that angle, the angle of attack is the difference between the attitude or the nose up attitude of the airplane and the horizon or the relative wind in this case. Watch him as he slows down. We expect to get him slowed down to about a hundred knots or about 115 miles per hour. F-A-18 Hornet is the same type of air aircraft flown by the United States Navy's Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels. center. Also notice that the aircraft doesn't flare prior to touchdown, but is flown onto the runway without slowing the rate of descent. Only naval and marine air I should say only naval and marine aircraft can take the brutal punishment of this type of a landing. Kills the 
We'll see him touch down and then shove the throttles forward. Three degrees nose up, angle of attack for the descent, 140 knots, about 155 miles per hour. Throttle goes forward and up he goes, a quick touch and go. On every landing, a carrier-based aircraft, once the wheels hit the deck, the throttles all the way forward just in case for some reason that the tail hook misses all four of those wires that are stretched that are stretched across the carrier deck by shoving the throttles forward the aircraft will have enough power to go around ladies and gentlemen with a final photo pass for you here today Lieutenant Adrian Catfish Joke in the Navy Zep A-18 Hornets. The Zep A-18 has flown in today's demonstration is one that is regularly used in fighter, attack, and aircraft carrier landing missions. It takes many dedicated and talented young, young individuals to maintain, fix, and fly these sophisticated machines. The Hornet's demonstration crews, the maintainers for the Hornet demonstration crew today, are Plane Captains Staff Sergeant Robert Burgess, United States Marine Corps from Ocala, Florida, and AM2AW Daniel Papool from... reasons that the Hornet comes in so fast is that during flight operations, the aircraft carrier has to be pointed into the wind to give extra lift and help give the uh, slow speed performance uh, for the jets a boost. And it's also, it is also the time when the carrier fleet is most vulnerable to attack. So the aircraft come in very, very rapidly over the carrier deck, about 800 feet above the deck swing around in that tight circle, and then make a very, very continuous bank turn right onto the landing spot. This time we'll see him land all the way in. He's working to land on a specific spot on that runway. There's no flare. He doesn't flare and pull up a little bit. The, the aircraft just flies directly on to the runway. Boom. And on an aircraft carrier, that landing descent rate is about 700 feet per minute. It is a, I'll give a back acre, not a back breaker, but certainly a back acre.